guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be doing another quick baking video I'm going to be making some chewy chocolate chip cookies it's just a classic I've never made these before so I thought why not do another baking video I've also been trying to post every single day this week which has been a little bit difficult but you guys have been showing so much love and loving my um, recent videos that I've been posting so that's really motivated me and I thought why not do a quick video of today I did have a deadline at work so I'm a bit busy and I worked a bit late later yesterday so I was just like I don't know what to film but I thought why not do chocolate chip cookies I love the chewy kind and I'm literally craving it now so let's just jump straight into the video I also wanted to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Ash Gemini so thank you so much for hitting that push notification button and for watching my video as well if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment all these baking treats are definitely going straight into my cheeks. Anyways, let's now get into the baking bit. This is just a stain, honestly. It's like a burnt stain on the plastic. It can't come off. But I think this weekend I'm going to make it a, a task for me to buy new uh, bowls and stuff. So I'm going to do that this weekend. Either I'll go to Tesco and get some or I'm going to order some online. Because I need to do food shop anyways. But let's start. So first you want to grab some caster sugar. I'll link the recipe that I'm using in the info box as always because like you guys know I cannot create a recipe from scratch. Maybe one day. Then we're going to take some packed uh, brown sugar. I have some melted butter here. And I might as well put these in. This is baking soda, um, salt and a little bit of baking powder. And you want to mix this all up. Oh, it should become like this. This just looks nice. I think this is what makes the chewiness of the cookie. So I have a fan oven, so I'm going to preheat my oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Um, if you have a normal oven, you can do 180 degrees Celsius. Then I'm going to put some vanilla essence right here. And an egg. that good mix so it's leaving a little trail so I'm happy with that so we can get rid of this now I just want to eat that then I want to get a sift and we're gonna put in our flour I'm gonna fold this into our mixture Okay, once you have this kind of consistency, we're going to put in our chocolate chips. So I've already cut up 200 grams of um, chocolate. This is milk chocolate. I'm really not a fan of dark chocolate, to be honest. Unless it's in like a brownie mix when you can't really taste the darkness of it. And we just want to fold this in. To be honest, you can put anything in this. Okay, now I've got my baking tray with some parchment paper. We're going to um, scoop like little balls of this into I don't want to do them too close together so now these can go in the oven for 15 minutes and we'll see how they turn out Now for the fun part, we gotta clean. Ta-da! 
there's just a little sneak peek of them. I don't know if they're turning out good, to be honest. I don't know. They have glued to each other, but it's okay. Alright guys, these are what the cookies are looking like. They actually turned out really well, but not that presentable. I tried to cookie cut one like this, but it wastes a lot, so I thought just leave them like this. It looks like those Tesco chewy cookies you get in the pack, but they're huge, like they're the size of my hand, basically. I've already started munching on one of them because it tastes amazing. Alright, these are what the cookies look like. They are insane. They don't look the best, but they taste amazing. Let's do a close-up. But this is a piece. It's cooked and it's actually really chewy. I think it's the sugar I use. The best cookies I've ever made. I could eat that whole plate right now. I'm not even joking. I'm gonna sort of eat now. This really tastes like the Pizza Hut cooking over bell. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I'm so glad I filmed. I'm going to post this tonight. I don't know what we're going to film tomorrow. From next week onwards, I'm going to do maybe three. Okay, I've got a lot of reviews. I bought some makeup. So I'm going to chill a bit on the baking because I need to, like, give my belly a break. Okay? <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It takes two seconds and then you don't miss out on any of my videos. You can press the post notification um, button if you want to so that you can get notified as soon as I post. Please leave your comments in the comments below and let me know if you do want to come through the screen and grab my cookies because they are bomb. I'm telling you, you guys need to do these cookies. They're so simple and they're they're so good. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you lots, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Wait, try it, try it. Just give me your thoughts. Come on. My brother's camera shot, okay? So we're going to let him try it. That's really good. Oh. I know it's so good. Wait, can you pass me a mug? Mug? He needs to have milk with it. Alright, I'm going out.